If you or your loved one is impacted by diabetes and have questions, the Barbados Diabetes Foundation has the answers. It's always easier to reverse diabetes, certainly control it properly and avoid complications if you at least know that you have it. But it's just again to re-emphasize the importance of good diabetic care. And the diabetic care is, it involves really almost every part of the body. So it's your feet, your heart. But again, we're coming back to what our main focus the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, located in Warren St. Michael, is your source of diabetic care. You can reach them by calling 243 Eyes 243 3937 for more information. Happy Crop Over Cricket Saturday morning to you, listening to VOB 92.9 FM. It's Crop Over, all the music coming out and sounding sweet. And the West Indies team winning a cricket cheese dog bread. And on top of all that, you are about to hear 15 of the healthiest 10th anniversary minutes you will hear on your radio. Radio, all with the compliments of the Barbados Diabetic Ice Screening Program, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, and the Barbados Community Foundation. This is Peter the Boys here, and if you are diabetic or pre diabetic, you could be a winner just like the West Indies team when you visit the Maria Holder Diabetes Center located up there in Warren St. Michael. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center hits beer sixes in having the best medical services accessible to you at an affordable price for diabetics in this cricket-loving country. Services like vascular screening to make sure the arteries in your arms and legs aren't clogged up and you don't have any bad circulation. That's what a vascular screening can do for you. Services like ice screening for diabetic retinopathy to make sure that you can watch all the cricket that you want and don't have to worry about going blind. Get your ice cream every year here. And then you have access to diabetes specialists, nurses and doctors and dietitians like Victoria Cox. Speaking of Victoria Cox, you does eat avocados? Well, I can guarantee you that after you hear the diet tip that Victoria Cox has for you, something called Healthy Cooking Swaps featuring avocado. And when you hear the special song that we'll be playing this morning, you will be eating avocados like there's no tomorrow. I guarantee you. Listen out for that. But first, it's crop over time. Like I said before, let us go to Dr. Diane Braffitt because she has some special tips for you. If you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you want to jump for crop over, you want to get out and enjoy yourself, you've got to do it safely. So you're going to have to listen to what Dr. Diane Braffitt says. Listen here. Hello once again. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. So, Dr. B here. Morning, Dr. D. And I was discussing with... Um, uh, the Mr. Boys, Peter. That's me. And we thought we'd bring something fun uh, this time around. I see all the parties starting to gear up and events for crop over. And we want to give everybody some tips for managing successfully during the, the season. There's so many things to consider. We'll see how many we can cover in this post. We're going to start with something very simple. And this applies to everybody, whether you are living with diabetes and NCD or otherwise. Okay, we're going to talk about budget. First of all, plan your budget very well for this season okay there are a lot of events going on you may not be able to take in all of the events but you know maybe pick what your favorite events are or the ones that actually you can do with the least bodily harm and make sure that you're budgeted well because you don't want to go and spend all your money on going to parties and then you'll be like wait i ain't got enough money for medication oh shoot i can't buy the vegetables okay so budget well and plan into your budget medication things like your um, your diet etc and that might sound um, simple but it's actually something that's always very important is knowing how to manage your money so you can take care of yourself your health and also your social life at this point in time medication that is a really really big one so we want people to be compliant with their medication if you're living with diabetes or another um, non-communicable non disease and that can be challenging if you take medication at different times a day or maybe you're due to take something at a time where you might want 
want to be out, for example, at a breakfast party or something going on during the day or you have a midday medication. So think about how you're going to transport your medication. If you're using pills, you want to keep that dry. There are some really trendy looking kind of pill containers, some where you can put like your little tablet inside like a necklace, almost kind of a uh, capsule or something like that. But think about how you're going to carry that medication um, in a safe manner. Think also about the timing of the medication. Do you need to put an alarm on your clock to remind you that you need to take your medication? Or maybe you need to let someone uh, who's traveling with you to whatever event uh, just nudge you on the thing and go, did you take your medication? You know, we want everybody to stay safe and also well controlled during the season. Now, what about medication if you're using insulin? Well, some people may not be too keen about traveling, obviously, with insulin syringes. If you are going to be traveling with a syringe, you can either use a cooler bag or if it's in the cooler part of the day, one of my hacks related to insulin syringes is maybe even drawing it up and putting it in a little portable small toothbrush holder and you can pop that in your bag so you can still use your medication. Don't forget if you're using insulin, know if your insulin is tied to food, if it is one that is used with food or it's a background insulin which doesn't have to be used with food and make sure that you use it correctly as you normally would do. And for those persons who are using pens, it's all wonderful and fine to have the pens. It does make life easy being able to slip the pen in and out of places and use it, you know, less kind of obviously. But just remember, please don't leave your insulin pens or your insulin syringes in hot places like glove compartments or anywhere locked up that can get hot because your insulin may become ineffective if it overheats. So don't forget, of course, you mentioned again the timing of your medication. Thank you, Dr. D, for those crop over tips. Listen out for more tips will be coming your way next week. And of course, you know you can find Dr. Diane Braffitt at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. And we want to remind you that every Tuesday is Priority Health Screening Day for BART members until July the 30th at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. 10% discount off individual services. So it's Instead of $100, you pay only $90 for a screening. And check this, you can get a vascular screening and an eye screening package valued at $200 for only $175. Whoa! I want to call now! The numbers to call to make an appointment or to get more information are 417-0300-0300. Or WhatsApp, 243-3937. Okay, we promise you an avocado tip. So let's hear from dietitian Victoria Cox. I'm Victoria. Hi, Victoria. I'm the dietitian at the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. And the superfood of today is avocado, or as we would sometimes call it in Barbados, pear. I'm a big fan of avocado for several reasons. Um, it is a fruit, but unlike most fruits, whatever carbohydrate it has is basically almost all in the form of fiber rather than sugar. So it's a great source of fiber, which is good for digestion health and then of course as avocados are usually known for they're um, a really good source of healthy fats so they have a lot of unsaturated fats they're good for things like cardiovascular cardiovascular disease keeping your uh, cholesterol levels down um, they're also just really rich in vitamins and other nutrients so vitamins and minerals uh, they have some antioxidants and I think they're really versatile so aside from just they taste nice you know adding a slice of avocado to your meal you you can mash them and put them on some high fiber bread or you can actually use it as a mayonnaise substitute so you know if you're making tuna salad or something like that next time try mashing up some avocado and using that in your tuna instead of mayonnaise for a heart healthier swap so that is our superfood of the day avocado thank you victoria superfood of the day avocado which leads us into our super song of the day a love song that is dedicated Get it to avocado, believe it or not. Performed by an artist named Elton Eugene. This is Avocado. Compliments, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center. You did? First thing in the morning when I wake up. Boil up to the kitchen and I cut it up. Got the toast on deck so I spread it up. With the sunny side eggs and the skillet up. Now you know I had to go ahead and level up. Avocado so fresh, can't get enough Orange juice in the fridge, so I pour it up Hands up real high for the breakfast club Avocado, 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 avocado Yeah, and you know what's up Avocado, 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 avocado Yeah, and you know what's up Break it down, right here, like this, like the 
Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Avocado. Avocados are usually known for a really good source of healthy fat. You can, you can have it, you can get it on the side. Put it in your sandwich, you can mix it up any way you want to have it. Avocado, 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 avocado. Yeah, and you know what's up. Avocado. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center. Yeah, and you know what's up. Avocado, 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 avocado. Yeah, and you know what's up. Avocado, 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 avocado. Yeah, and you know what's up. A song dedicated to avocado. You can imagine that. You only hear these unique songs on the Maria Hola Diabetes Radio Show. And in case you think that we can do another one, I'm going to give you another avocado song. This is a quick one. If those songs do not make you start eating avocado, I don't know what will. More health information coming up next. The Maria Holder Diabetes Center. We now welcome to the show a patient of the Maria Holder Diabetes Center, Miss Desha Moore. Welcome to the show, Desha. Thank you for having me. Desha, how long have you had diabetes and could you tell us how it impacted on the way you live your life? I have had diabetes for just about eight years now. Um, I got it when I was really young. So I just say it impacted my life pretty big, especially going through school and stuff. It was quite difficult back then. Tell us some of the challenges that would be unique to you as a young person that you would have faced. Being in school, you know, the children, nobody is really educated about diabetes. All everybody seems to think is that you eat too much sugar and you can't do this. Everybody thinks it's limited to like one category of things. So people see me the slightest thing as into drinking something is like questioning me or it would be hard to watch the other children enjoy a lot of other things that at the time I didn't know I could enjoy myself. So that was the biggest challenge for me. What did you learn from being a patient of the Maria Holder Diabetes Center? I learned that diabetes don't limit yourself. So it is not the end of the world and that you can do everything a quote unquote normal person can do. And as long as you have a good support system, you'll be okay. Tell us an, an example of some of the services which you would have utilized at the center. I utilize the diabetes specialist nurse, the pediatrist, the nutritionist. There's also a psychologist there as well. And of course, the doctor. So did the advice that you received from the center, did it help you to cope with your condition? It most certainly did. The staff there, but it is really nice and they're supportive and they helped me through a lot of my problems. They taught me about calorie counting, learning how to balance my meal so that I can still enjoy the sweet things and everything else that, as I said, quote unquote, normal people can enjoy. They help me not to be insecure about having diabetes. It's, uh, it's something that I have to live with and to love myself, to be confident in everything I do. For over 10 years, the Maria Holder Diabetes Center has been effectively serving the diabetic and pre-diabetic community of Barbados with a range of international standard health services, which include diabetic eye screening, vascular screening, nutritional advice, and consultations with diabetes specialists. So if you are listening to VOB right now and you have a diabetic-related query or you need to make an appointment, you can call 24 three three nine three seven you can also follow us on facebook or instagram the last 15 minutes you heard on vob was brought to you with the compliments of the barbados diabetic ice screening program in partnership with the barbados community foundation and the maria holder diabetes center celebrating its 10th anniversary until next time drink more water Did you know nearly one in five adults in Barbados have diabetes? Did you know diabetes is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world? Regular eye screening can save your eyes. Contact the Barbados Diabetic Eye Screening Program today at 243-3937.